Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back at it with Tumblr, and we are back out with the true crime community, well, the batshit people of the true crime community. Since this whole shooting has happened, the school shooting uh, that happened in Florida, I'm sure that if you're watching this, you probably know what I'm talking about. A kid called Nicholas Cruz um, went to a school, shot it up, ended up killing 17 people, and, um, of course, what does Tumblr do but rush to say how hot he is, how they want to send him letters, blah blah blah, kind of like the Columbine thing. And interestingly enough, there are a lot of similarities even between the pictures that are taken of the students coming out of the school with the Columbine uh, thing compared to this one, but we'll get to that later. However, I wanted to look at some posts, um, about Nicholas that are super, super troubling. So here we have someone who made a picture of the killer, his icon, and then he said, he kind of cute though, the Valentine's Day shooter is my Valentine. What makes that, I feel like, way more fucked up is the fact that Valentine's Day is supposed to be like this lovey-dovey day where no one kind of like gives a shit about the world's problems and just chills. And they're kind of, well, they are making it perverted like this. Here we have someone who commented, of course, Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris are my valentines, and someone else commented under, Nicholas Cruz is mine, with all the emojis. And, you know, as much as I have a dark sense of humor, um, this kind of crap just doesn't really fly. I don't understand why people get so deep into it. And with Columbine, I'm not saying it's right, but I think that a lot of people today are obsessed with it because it feels like it was so long ago and it's easy to romanticize the past, right? This is happening, like, these days, on our televisions right now. There's never an excuse to romanticize it. I'm just trying to understand where these people are coming from, and I just can't. Honestly, there's a difference between being interested in crime and there's a difference between being obsessed with a killer and thinking they're hot and wanting to have sex with them. So here we have two asks that are on the same person's page and one says, Sis, mass shootings aren't funny or anything to be glamorized, you fucking clout chasing piece of shit. And she answered, I beg to differ. And then again, another person asked, why do you condone murders again? And then this person replied, because humans are cancer, that's why. You're so edgy. So it seems like a lot like a lot of the people on Tumblr are also using these murders as a way to identify the way that they feel about society right now or to take out some of their anger. Like I know that a lot of people who are very very much part of the Columbine fan club who were bullied themselves so they identify with one side of the killer and I think that that's what's dangerous because they think that one side of identification is enough to be like oh my god I love them they would understand me we would be friends when in reality he would have killed you too you're not special you're not different so here we have someone who has a profile picture of Nicholas Cruz by the way uh, and it says, there's real pedophilia on this site, but people are angry at you for this. Okay. Um, I don't know what the this was, but it must be in terms of the true crime. Then it said, why are y'all getting mad now? I mean, there's plenty of true crime blogs who put flower crowns on Eric, Dylan, and on other serial killers. I don't see the problem with doing it with Nick. At least we don't condone and respect the victims. Boy is gonna die rot in prison all his life anyway. And both these people have murderers, I'm pretty sure, as their icons, and they're defending this whole idea. And yeah, while there is pedophilia, it's not like problems kind of cancel each other out. It'd be like saying, oh, to every cop, oh yeah, pedophilia is happening. So if that person is selling crack to a 12-year-old, pedophilia is happening. So just don't worry about that. Let's only focus on pedophilia. No, there are multiple problems going on, and the true crime community, the crazy side, doing this kind of shit is a problem because it makes people think that serial killers are glamorous and cool and ugh, all the shit they're really not. They're vessels for pain, for families, for kids, for everyone who is affected. That's not cool, 
okay? And I'm sorry if you're trying to be edgy and that different person, but that different person fucking sucks. Just drop it, okay? Here we have an edit of the killer with the word Valentine under that looks bloody and there's like blood all over the place and hearts and a gun. Um, there's not really much for me to comment. Like I just got goosebumps, but it's just, like I said, there's a morbid sense of humor and then there's this shit, you know? Pick your battles, pick when something's funny, when people really die in real life, no one, no one should be laughing. Okay, someone else here said, not surprised if I'm the first one to say it, but I'd fuck Nicholas Cruz and my letter is already out to him. Oh well, fight me. Well, the fact that your letter is already out to him is actually really pathetic because it just shows that you didn't even think, like, assuming you can think about this the way a normal person would think about it, um, you take a second and be like, this person killed someone that might be my age, my sister's age, whatever you can do to remind yourself that this person killed actual humans who were just at school. Like these were, this was not in combat. This was not self-defense. These were people going about their own day and he killed them. And you're sending him a lovey-dovey letter. How are you okay with that? Okay, so here we have another post where someone's like, oh my God, Nicholas is so hot. And then there's um, a picture under the Kardashian, of Khloe Kardashian saying, you're ruining my mood already today, so get away from me. So this does have a bit of sense of humor, but at the same time, it's just because of how the person responded. I mean, just the fetishizing of this killer is wild to me. So then in this post, we have someone saying, y'all just mad because Nicholas Cruz is a fucking legend. And I... I know that a lot of people have been making points about Nicholas Cruz being a legend because he killed more um, than the two at Columbine did. So, I mean, it's disgusting to refer to him as a legend, but I, th I think a lot of people are really hanging on to that as, um, you know, a reason why they should be interested in him and devote their time to him, if that makes sense. This is what makes him different. Here we have another post that says, should I be ashamed that right when I heard someone say there was a school shooting that killed 17 people, I thought that's more than Columbine and started laughing. Yeah, you should feel bad. Um, I don't know what's so funny about that. Uh, even in the mind of some deranged person like this, I don't know what's so funny. And like I said, you see there's this continuous uh, kind of battle with Columbine of being like, hey, who's the next fucked up person who's gonna kill more people? Like, how great is that? It just makes me angry because like, these families are in fresh mourning. They're not mourning something that happened 10 years ago. This was, this was two days ago. I mean, how do you, how do you talk like that when something is such a fresh wound? Like, I'm, it's never right, but especially when it's such a fresh wound. How do, you, how do you deal with yourself acting that way? So I think one important thing, uh, which I mentioned at the beginning, is that there are a lot of parallels with Columbine. And I'll show a couple pictures on the screen. Um, just the way that the kids were exiting and um, even leaving off the side of a building, all like with their hands on each other's shoulders. Um, the way that the cameras are showing even from above the students leaving, it's all very reminiscent and scary and I'm by no means saying like these are the only two that are similar, but um, uh, my best friend kind of noticed that and thought wow they like a lot of the shots are very similar and since a lot of people in the crazy side of the true crime community were comparing it, we thought that it was interesting that um, they're kind of, in a sense, trying to race each other um, to to see like who is the real god based on their number of killings, which is really scary because what if the person who is the next true god is on Tumblr and is like, hey, like 17 is the number, I'm gonna go for more, you know what I mean? So it's all very troubling and honestly, I've never been one to have faith in Tumblr, but this to me was such a huge new low that it just makes me kind of nauseous to think about, especially for the families. I mean, hopefully no family or 
sister, friend, brother, relative is really on Tumblr seeing any of this, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always for supporting me. Let's get into the fan art. <laughs> 